scoliosis officially is defined as a three-dimensional torsional deformity of the spine. To put that into a picture for you, let's start with a model of a normal spine. So here's a normal spine. Looking at a spine from the front, it should be relatively straight up and down. We call that the coronal plane. From the coronal plane, it should be straight. From the side view of a spine in the sagittal plane, there should be a curve. And you'll see a three curve pattern, a lumbar curve, thoracic curve, and a cervical curve. So there's an example of a normal spine. Now in scoliosis, the three-dimensional deformity is a bend and a twist. In the coronal spine, where it should be straight, instead, there is a bend. So here's an example of a bend in the coronal spine. There's also a twist, and that twist right here is turning to the right, here is turning to the left. If you were to look at it straight on, you might see the twist a little better, like this. So again, in the coronal plane, whereas it should be straight, a scoliosis will have a bend. From the sagittal plane, a scoliosis will often have lost its normal sagittal curves and appear much straighter. So there's the three-dimensional torsional deformity. You have the bend, the twist, a gain of curvature in the coronal plane, and a loss of curvature in the sagittal plane, and that is a classic four-curve pattern scoliosis.